Hello folks. Welcome to another stovetop workshop. The ICSM4 of Mr. Stay on Target is back. We were at an airsoft meet today and uh, it turns out he uh, went to chrono it and uh, it was shooting, it shot 45 feet per second and then BB just kind of fell out the barrel. It was very, 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 very bad. Don't know what happened though. He had it at home and he said he played with it a little bit and it was working great. So I was talking to Darkland at the bent barrel there and uh, he was letting me know that when he pulled this out, this barrel surprised the living shit out of him. Never seen that kind of barrel before. So we were talking and uh, he was looking at it like he said. He says mechanically it looks fine. Like, you know, everything moves nice and clean. Everything's slick. There's no binding right there. You know, the spring's good and solid. Like nothing, right? So we're figuring maybe, you know, maybe, just maybe it's the barrel. So what we're going to do is uh, I got a stock TM1 kicking around. I got a couple different ones kicking around. But we're going to throw one in and uh, see what we can see here. See what we can get happening with this gun. Alright, so uh, stay tuned. So I have the uh, stock, well, what was supposed to be, this was in the gun, so stock ICS apparently. And then I have a slightly used TM1. It's had a hop up on it for a long time, so it's kind of, like, kind of looks like kind of gross right here. But. And then I have a, one that I pulled out of my G&G G &G EBBM4. So this is probably the newest one out of the group, short of this one. So I wasn't sure which one to use. I might go with the brass, but this is an aluminum one. Like I said, it's brand new and super clean. So I'll probably go with this one and just see what happens. Uh, stay tuned. So there it is there. That's when you do the Teflon tape mod. So you got an exact perfect seal between here and here. Very, very sealed. Very, very sealed. Very good. Sometimes when you go to put it on, you give it a good, when you go to put it on tight, the uh, little notch will slide out here. All you gotta do is just turn it back with your fingers and you'll feel it pop right in. It's good and solid. And then what I like to do is just use my fingernail ever so gently. Oop, wrong direction. <laughs> See, it's easy as that to fix. And I like to just take my fingernail, go around once like that, just to give it a base ridge. And then I push in that piece right there, that piece right there. And then you're tickety with Bob's Jerkle. You betcha. And you do the same thing to the outside of here, eh? Just a little piece about the A long and just go around once. And then just use your thing and fingernail just ever so gently to make that a nice solid little notch. And then you're. Hop-up mod is taken care of. The uh, they call it there, the Teflon tape hop-up mod is taken care of. And uh, again, like I told you guys before, when you go to put it back in, right? When it goes in, sometimes it's a little stiff. You just have to kind of work it down. Slide that thing in there. Nice, that one went in. See, it was just just the right amount of hop-up tape, or just the right of uh, just the right amount of uh, Teflon tape that it doesn't bind at all. So that should be very nice. All right, so I'll get back to you in a second when I put it together. Yeah, okay. So that was a colossal waste of time. Speed actually dropped to under 100 FPS. <laughs> yeah, I should just fold this barrel in pieces throughout the trash right now. You betcha. We'll try this one here, the brass one. Hey, folks. So I was uh, talking to some buddies and uh, one of them has the exact same ICS M4. And he'd put a, he had a stock piston, blew the tooth out of it. Put another stock piston, blew a tooth out of it. And then uh, Moose Lee picked up a uh, Sistema uh, uh, piston. So I just happened to have a Sistema piston, so I put it in. So we're gonna try this. Uh, Darklin and, uh, uh, and uh, Jeff Baker there, they were talking that there might be piston drag being a non-stock piston. So we'll give that a go. I'll let you know how it works out. So, the Sistema piston, uh, Sistema, uh, uh, piston gave us a 297. We were back down to like 140. It was ridiculous. So, yeah, I guess what we'll do is uh, we'll talk to him about leaving in that Sistema piston for now. And uh, we'll go from there. Stay tuned. So yeah, I just put in the uh, Sistema piston and I changed the tappet return spring look kind of weak so let's see what we're doing now ah, we're much better now look at that that'll get the job done now we're cooking with nitro let's stay tuned for some cans Welcome back folks. So we're just going to do a quick uh, test here. I got my scope, my uh, EOTech on his gun here. I'm just going to take a look how it works. Uh, 
I only had a couple of BBs in the mag. Um, I think his biggest problem is high caps. So I'm gonna see where I can first see if I can find mine and give it a try. Be right back. Welcome back, folks. So I got my found my uh, high cap mag, and we're gonna see how it works out here. See if it feeds right or and shoots and whatever else. Yeah, does not like the high cap. Yeah, it's just dropping BBs out. Nope, does not like the high cap. Hey folks, welcome back. So yep, his gun definitely hates the high cap. I don't know what it is. I tried a, I got three diff two different high caps and it doesn't like the little mags. It just seems like a quality mag it'll play with. Like this is a, a 68 round TM mag. So check it out here. I mean, this is just fine. Like quality mag. It works just fine. So we gotta tell the boy to stay away from the high caps. That's his, that's gonna kill him more than anything else. Cause I just cut the cannon half with like 60 rounds, and it fires nice and quick too. So thank you for watching. Play hard. Play fast. Play safe.